find you very rude. <laughs> the November Challenge is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content, and buyer's remorse. And a viscaman to our brand new patrons Robert, Rebecca Pattinson, Cody L, Awesome Problem, Abby K, Pabbington, Leslie W, Andy E.G., Graemster, Good Old Aunt Mabel, Laura Ritchie, Jess Aloqui, Preston Wall, Jail Prince, and Sophie Troyhaft. Let's start the shit show. Uh, a viscamon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Right, well, I tried to come up with some Serbian or Croat sounding, uh, hello. I could have prepared an actual, like an actual translation, but I thought I could just wing it and you would, uh, you would go, you would understand. No. What? What is this crystal? Is it plastic? It's, no, it's crystal. Billend, is it plastic? But do you have any like idea? Plastic. Do you have any idea how offensive that is? What is your hair? That's plastic. Yeah, it is. Well, you could have fucking dried it before you started. <laughs> We're all about positive energy today. Thank you very much, Nova. So I won't take any of your guff or any of your bullshit. Guff. Because we're going to be sampling some tasty treats. Are from... you hungry? That's a very loaded question, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe you've done that. I can't believe you've done that. If I say yes, I'm an ox. If I say no, I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm wearing a corset, so I can't, but we're not eating like great big sarnies. Okay, let's- We don't know. Don't, well, so we got- No. Uh, Jane, Jane. We have another treat box here from- um, There's hair on it. There's hair all over oh. it. From trytreats.com. So we've done, done a these. couple of their boxes before, and they were both um, Asian countries. What did we have? I think I there was Thailand. Look at how sort of yellow and golden it yeah. is. <laughs> and Thailand. Indonesia. Oh. No, 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 no. And we have had a little sneaky peek inside this one, which is why Olympia tried to make that poor joke greeting at the beginning. And this one is from Serbia and Croatia. So if you've not seen any of those videos before, basically what we did once upon a time was agree to accept a lovely little package from this company, Try Treats. And they do sort of a subscription It's a monthly boxes. subscription box, yeah. And you get a lovely box full of snacky food. It's not like meat, it's not like a big fucking like, no, like it's pig trotter. It's snacks. Um, so they give you a little card with facts about the country. Yes. And then like a little menu of um, what there is. And there's okay. a little cover letter in here as well, a little postcard. And this is Dubrovnik in Croatia which looks beautiful. This month's treats come from Serbia and Croatia, located in southeastern Europe. Croatia, Croatia is adjacent to the Adriatic Sea and is neighbored by Serbia. Serbia and Croatia share a common history for they used to be the same country under the name Yugoslavia. I was gonna ask you, they spoiled my trivia moment. As such, Serbia and Croatia share cultural similarities, and one of these is they eat the same snacks, and you will find many of them in your box this month. As you dig in, you will find snacks like Vic Salted Sticks by Kras, a representation of the region's love of pretzels. You will also find unique sweets you may have never tasted before, like the Kitty Coconut, a coconut flavoured chocolate treat beloved in the region, and Kiki Plus, a uniquely nutritious right, candy, well, and Benanko, we'll and more. We hope you enjoy Prechantno. Treats team. What did you just call me? So there's a lovely uh, seal. Just, I'm just gonna break this. Ooh, that means we'll be pissing all evening. It's all very kind of like sweet oriented. It's basically, or most of it's like chocolate stuff. But there's a recipe on the back. Kebab chichi. There's a le bon ton roulette. If you're looking for something which is a bit more like Bush Tucker trial, like this is gross food, this is this probably isn't for you because the stuff is generally very kind of universally appealing. Mm. It's just kind of weird. Like the combinations might be a bit off or for us, not oh, that sounds rude, but the combinations might just be a kind of like something you're not accustomed to or it's some kind of like new confectionery you've never tried before. So it's always interesting, but generally the stuff is nice. It's not like you're gonna get like a, like a what, a chocolate cockroach. I feel like we've got a lot in here this time. Have you got the little menu? Well, since these are, let's just go by what's on the top. So we've got some sweets here. Well, they look, they're just called Kiki Tutti Fruity. Let's have a Kiki. They've got gelatin in, so I won't have one, but you can try. Tomato, apple, black carrot. What? That's the Tomat color. I forget that Nova's, Nova's a vegetarian. Um, big up the vegetarian. I ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> but that means that she doesn't eat half the shit. So it says Kiki Plus are fruit flavored square shaped toffee candies. They're soft and chewy in toffee. texture, similar to a Starburst. Kiki Plus have a plus in their name because they are enriched with vitamin C. Oh, are they bollocks? Enriched with vitamin they C. They do. Why they like just roll it around in vitamin they? C? Don't lie to me, Serbia. The wrapper's really cute. They literally look like a Starburst or whatever the fuck. What's the other one? 
A chew it. Yeah. They're a bit sweaty. Oh, right. Brovnik in Croatia. What flavour is that supposed to be? Orange. Orange. I think it's banana flavour. Just a wild guess. It's a chew it. Oh, that's a bit boring. It's the consistency of a chew it, but it's got the flavour of a starburst. So if you're one of those people that kind of like, I prefer can't decide. Starburst. I don't tend to like these kind of candies because they just like stick to the roof of your mouth. And they take candies. They take forever to swallow, and it's just like get out of get you out of my fucking a little, mouth. A little spittoon. That didn't work. We haven't decided what Yugoslavia was made up of. I don't know. This looks really good. Macedonia. I don't know. I think North Macedonia was part of it. Croatia and Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. God, it was loads of stuff. Oh, loads of them. Kosovo. That might have also been. Part I of want it. this. What is that? This what is, that? is Kitty Coconut Dessert by Pioneer. Uh, chocolate bar with chewy coconut flavored filling, chewy in texture and sweet. If you like the taste of coconuts, you'll love these chocolates. If your mom likes chicken, you might like chicken. But see, now I've got all this orange shit on the side of my teeth. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No matter how hard you jam your tongue onto your teeth, you can't get rid of it. It's there for days, just like camping out in your mouth. Oh, there we go. Coconut flavor, coconut bar, whey powder, egg powder, emulsifiers. Oh, yeah! I feel like if we can just guess what the food's gonna be like, we should just not eat it and then we can gift it. I think this one's gonna be fine. We're going to someone's, um, we're going to a nice cocktail party, aren't we? To socially distance cocktail party, and we could just give them some of this shit and be like, we bought it. So this is a coconut flavored chewy chocolate bar. Sort of like a Milky Way. It is. It's, it it's is. like a coconut Milky Way. It looks like um, the kind of what do you call that? Nougat. Yeah, like really soft. It was really soft. It wasn't like. Um, uh, it just broke away really easily. Is that cheese? This is exactly like a bounty. But Milky Way, but Milky Way. You don't have the texture of desiccated coconut because it's not desiccated coconut. It's a cross between a Milky Way and a Bounty. Yeah, but it tastes so, exactly like a Bounty. A Milky Way, I believe, is a, maybe it's just a British thing or a European thing. I think they're called Three Musketeers bars in America. Is that a Milky Way? Sure. What is this called? Kitty, Kitty Cocos, Kitty Coconut Dessert. We're getting into a weird area. That's delicious. Mm. I would I would easily eat one of those. If I ate much. What's this? This is a Tortica original. It looks like a scrum diddly umptious bar. Do you remember in, in No, what is that? I want to say Harry Potter. What is it? What do you want? Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, Harry Potter indeed. The scrum diddly umptious. Delicious crunchy chocolate covered wafers with hazelnut filling. Packaged with individual sealed wrappers. They are fresh and crunchy to the taste and the perfect snack to take on the go. It's sort of, oh, mm, right. It takes a second to hit you. What is it? That's hit me right in the mummy daddy button. That's great. It's like a pink lady, but chocolate covered. Yes, but we have a name for those. Is it a blue ribboned? We have a name for that. Wait, it's a bit like that, but they have like, do they have caramel in them? Oh, well then the, the blue ribbon is better than this. This has got dark chocolate as well, so there's a little bit of a bitter aftertaste with the chocolate, which I don't mind. Bit of a mix. It's like what the Barefoot Contessa says, you know, sometimes you mix the dark chocolate with the, with the milk chocolate, just sort of add a, a bit of the sweet and a bit of the bitter, and it just kind of makes it a more rounded flavour. It's gorgeous. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't love that? Who wouldn't want that? That's delicious. Now we got two Animal Kingdom I want this milk flavor. chocolate bars. Well, chocolate mascot on a stick, sculpted in the shape and appearance of an animal. There are five possible mascots, a bear, bunny, cat, dog, and elephant, which I feel like is an absolute lie because I've got a panda and you've got a giraffe. I mean, I don't, this is why these boxes are nice to see how your confectionery might measure up against the different countries because Americans are super, um, they, they sort of gatekeep their chocolate, don't they? Americans think that their chocolate is amazing. And generally speaking, the rest of the world would say that American chocolate is fucking garbo, right? I feel like this is not correct. I feel like they've replaced this with something because it says here, sculpted in the shape and appearance of an animal on a stick. It's not, it's literally just a plain 
chocolate bar. So maybe this is like a slightly different edition, but it looks like it's just going to be plain chocolate in here. I, I mean, Serbia and Croatia, they're European countries, so I imagine it will be good chocolate. Mmm. Oh, I thought wrong. It's got a weird taste to it. <gasps> it almost tastes fruity. Banana! Why does it taste like banana? We're having a stroke. That can't be right. It's got a weird, like, fruity taste to it. So, that is interesting because that is unlike Artificial any chocolate. vanilla flavour. That's unlike any chocolate I've ever eaten. Contains hazelnuts. Yeah, isn't that strange? You know, like like I said, so American chocolate is shocking. It's shit, right? Hershey's chocolate is fucking garbo. No, I like it. No, it's shit. I really but like it. But Cadbury's is sort of like, is that a British chocolate? I don't like chocolate? Cadbury's. Cadbury's is owned by Kraft. Also very artificial tasting. This is a bit more like a milker, I would say. You know Milka, it's very European. Mm. Um, but it's a bit fruity, so it's weird. It's not like a chocolate I think I've eaten it's before. It's the weird mix of like vanilla and hazelnut, which I'm not used to. But it would be interesting to know if this is like a staple chocolate in Serbia and Croatia. Whereas like, if you think of a chocolate bar in the UK, you get a Cadbury's. Whether they go and grab like a crass animal kingdom, I don't know. There's a lot of products here by crass. You're crass? What the fuck is that? You know what this is? Perfect blotting paper. We've got a lot of sweet snacks in here. We've not got very many savoury snacks. Um, it's very interesting. Go. I don't talk when you're sorting yourself out, just for editing purposes. And yet, there she's going. Up. She's going ahead. Well, I'm not looking at you. That's the problem in our marriage. Are you quite ready? Enchanté. This one looks and feels really weird. You take this, I'm going to read about it. Bananco, also by Crass. A banana Bananco. chocolate covered candy bar with a banana flavoured foam centre. Distinctive in its banana shape and flavour, Bananco is a staple candy bar in Serbia and Croatia. Can you just check the ingredients first? No, you know, you can't have this one. I want to try it. It's got, oh no, it contains pig's feet. This is the perfect moment to do a Claire from VHS Kitchen. Contains sugar, water, glucose syrup, cocoa mass, cocoa butter, humectant, sorbitol, jelly agent. Contains wheat gluten, sorry. You can open it or what? First of all, this is very... This looks really inappropriate. <laughs> okay, okay, so... I've seen the banana before. I feel it's broken, so you can see the foam banana inside coming through which everyone knows what those foam bananas taste like right i feel like every country has one no what what's a foam banana what are you talking about are you being serious yeah a foam banana stop saying it like those it's sweets the, the foam banana sweet you get bananas and you get shrimp oh they're not foam those are like jelly sweets they're described as foam sweets because they're not jelly at all they're foamy they're jelly sweets. You know the ones, the shrimp. Like Caribou. Yes, but they're not jelly. Well, just because like they're opaque. Yeah, but they have a, a some almost sort of powdery um, kind of consistency. They're not jelly at all. I don't like them. All right, well then why do you want to eat it then? Because that, that, looks, that looks like something else. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. No, baby, no. Oh, baby, no. Really soft in the middle. But it's very sugary. Whereas the powdered, the foam bananas I know of are very, very so, sort of consistent texture throughout and a bit sort of powdery. That's got like sugar. It's got a strange kind of crunch. Right, with yeah, the that's chocolate. like sugar. I don't know that if there's something in the chocolate or underneath it or underneath like another layer, but there is a slight crunch to it. But the actual filling itself is very, very soft and spongy. That's and not like got, a foam banana here. It's got a really, really strong artificial banana flavour. Which I quite like that because it's a bit like a banana milkshake. Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like, banana milk. Oh, banana milk, what? Like banana Nesquik. This tastes like oh, Nesquik. What? The, the chocolate flavour as well, but it tastes like Nesquik. Do you remember the old what lady? No. <laughs> Oh, what? You remember her? No. Yes. You'd always say something and she'd try and one-up you. And I'd be like, if you've seen the weather tomorrow, there's gonna be a thunderstorm and she'd go, oh, what? No. All right, well, anyway. Shout out to- like that. Shout out to that lady if she's still alive. It's fine, but it's a bit- Do you have something off. a bit saltier now? Yes, yeah. yes. So these are Vic Salted Sticks by Crass, lightly salted pretzel sticks with a peanut flavoured filling. I did not sign up for that. I was thinking like this would be really nice, just like pretzel sticks. 
but a peanut flavoured filling. Savoury and crunchy to the taste, a local favourite of Serbia and Croatia. Because as we... Nova. That's me. This is Nova Receptura. Nova the receptionist. <laughs> That's what you fucking are. Get on the phones. Get on the phones. So it's a pretzel stick. Lady. It's a pretzel stick. It looks like a pocky stick. I don't like pretzels. I love pretzels. So this is supposed to have peanut butter inside. I didn't hear that part. What? No, it's, it's just not. plain. There's no peanut butter in. Where the fuck have you got it? With a, oh, a peanut flavoured filling. Okay, they, I mean, they're literally pretzel sticks. They're a lot softer than I think a regular pretzel is. A bit more powdery. Nah. I taste like normal pretzels. May contain hazelnuts, peanuts, milk and soya. I, I think they misunderstand the peanut filling because I don't see anything in the ing ingredients referencing a peanut filling. There might be a peanut one. variant of it, which I think might be nicer. The thing about pretzels is there's, they're so salty and there's something really kind of iffy to me about the taste of a pretzel. Like a giant dough pretzel, sure, but the little like crunchy ones. I ate like a small bag of pretzels on a plane once and I don't know if it's being on a plane like fucked me up and I wanted to throw them up, but I just, there's something about them that doesn't sit right with me. I really like the giant Disney pretzels you get. That, they're great. Okay, they're great because they're like Little dough. sometimes sell those. What? Disney Little. ones. Well, you know, like the massive ones. Does it come with a plastic cheese dip? No, unfortunately See, then not. there's no point, is there? Although you could get the pretzel in Little. Mosey on home. Order the Papa John's special garlic dip. It's basically be, yeah, the same. Idea. It's basically the same. Oh, we should order that. Right. Next. Um, this, this is, is heavy. Euro Creme Biscuit by Isleri. Um, that a chocolate-covered so biscuit with hazelnut cream filling. The cream filling is not too sweet, and it's flavoured nicely balanced with the outer layer of chocolate. It's recommended to be enjoyed with a cup of tea. <laughs> what? That has got some weight to it, hasn't it? And it feels very solid. Well, I don't know if it's some... I wonder what the cream filling is like. What did it say? What flavour it was? Hazelnut. I wonder if people... I wonder if it's going to be like... Um, Serbia have Kinder great bueno. upper arm strength because they're always trying to get into stuff that they're clearly not allowed to get into. Oh, it looks really weird. It's very, very heavy. So and it's, it's like a sandwich. It's, it's very got dense. layers. God, it's dense. It's just like you. It's like really fucking dense and heavy. <laughs> oh. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's like chocolate, but it's like hard Nutella. It's chocolate it's like coffee. What have you just fucking put in your mouth? It's Nutella. It's a hazelnut chocolate. It's like really dense and hard. But when you start chewing it, it like melts into cream straight away. You want to know what this tastes like? Take a teaspoon of Nutella out of a jar. Leave it on the side for a while to harden up a bit. Stick in your mouth. It's not quite as strong as Nutella. It's a, a, it's a much milder flavour than Nutella. You literally just said it tasted like coffee, so you have no opinion whatsoever. It sort of tastes like a ham sandwich. I think that's nice, but I could not eat an a whole one. That's really like... That's no, I could not. Rich. I couldn't either. Madam. Madam. What's happening? Right. What's the next one? God, this top is tight. This is really tight. Something else by Larry. Who is that? Euro Creme Biscuits. Chocolate covered biscuits with hazelnut cream filling. I thought it was going to be the same kind of thing, but in a biscuit. Wait, hang on a second. Look. Larry is the brand that they put plus Euro Creme. Euro Creme is Nutella. I think that's what that is. It's a, it's a, it's a kind so of Nutella. So I actually read the wrong description for the last one, but they're very, very similar because they've both got Euro Creme in their name. So what we just tried was the Euro Creme Block, which says it's like having hazelnut chocolate spread into a bar. Thank you very much. But this Thank you. is the one that's recommended to be enjoyed with a cup of tea. But the, the flavour descriptions are very similar. Yeah, because you want to put that in a cup of tea, it'll just melt into your tea and you've got hot chocolate. What do they look like? Oh, they're like sandwich biscuits, are they? Is that one? <laughs> <laughs> Shut down your fucking That's gosh. two stuck together, surely. Is that one? <laughs> Don't understand. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. They're sandwiches, so they are stuck together. I think it's hot in Croatia, so maybe we'll find one that's... No, that's not. Here we go. There you go. 
That is it. Ah. You see? So it's okay. it's like a um Oh they've got like chocolate on the top, nothing on the bottom, and like a little sponge of this hazelnut cram stuff in the middle. There's a Jaffa cake you taste there, do you see that? Hmm. In the biscuit, like a chocolate Jaffa cake without the, the orange. It even looks like Jaffa cakes, but like it's been a bit harder. Small. It's I like, like a it. couple of, no I don't care, it's very sweet. Like it's not, you'd have to, this shit is really for a sweet tooth. But you have a sweet tooth. No, but like it's not sweet enough. Oh, I'm sorry, fuck. You just said that isn't sweet enough. Yeah, right. it has a very stale taste to it. Mmm, I don't we, like it. Should we see what the expiration date is? I'm not suggesting that Tri Treats have like shortchanged us. There isn't one, there isn't one. 2020. Yeah, September. It's cutting it a bit short, don't you think? Have this, because I can't have this. Munch Mellow by Jaffa. So, there's some kind of real, um, like, printing kind of, like, low-quality print on this cardboard box, which looks, like, very kind of, like... When chewed on, the chocolate combines with the marshmallow and the cookie to create a delightful blend of flavours. So it's like a tea cake. Is that what they're called? It looks exactly like a tea cake. Um, it looks like it's dark chocolate instead of milk. Yeah. Tea cakes are, what are they? That's a very British thing, Very British, it? yeah, but it's always milk chocolate. Is milk chocolate dome with like marshmallow. Over a marshmallow with a biscuit. It's not marshmallow though, is it? It's more like marshmallow fluff. I don't know, I don't have it. Uh, marshmallow is, so is more solid. Marshmallow fluff is a bit kind of like more liquidy. And then there's a biscuit on the bottom, but... Is that what it is? It looks like the That's same. exactly that. Is it dark chocolate? Yes. Although it kind of tastes like banana. Why does everything? <laughs> I have a funny feeling that, I don't know, the Serbian kind of confectionery industry is hell bent on just making all of their You citizens. will like banana. <laughs> yes, you will taste the banana. They're, they're not very good. We got um, the savory snack again. I feel like we started out really strong and it's sort of gone a bit south. This is Smoky by Stark. Uh, crunchy peanut smoky. shaped pieces. They are supposed to be peanut flavoured, but in fact taste better than peanuts because they embody a fuller taste. Its crunchy texture and savoury taste make this treat a delight. It's like a cross between a peanut and a what's it. They're very pleasant. Oh, they are very good. So if you can see it, smoky. Do you see it? Can you see that? It's like a That's little tiny... so strange. Puff. It's like a puffed... It's like, um, vegan cheese puffs. If you've ever had a vegan cheese puff before, like, you can get them made out of, like, what was it, chickpeas, like a chickpea cheese puff. It's that consistency, but it honestly tastes like salted peanuts. It's they taste so strange. A bit like banana. Oh, I don't. Oh, no, they don't taste like banana. They're super salty, though. I don't think I could eat many of those. Because all that's waiting is regret. Because that's a really strong... Salty flavor. It honestly just tastes like salted peanuts. That's so bizarre. Peanuts! Peanuts! Do you remember that? No. You remember that? No. Yeah, we were on the plane, that lady came oh, by yeah. and she went, Peanuts! But I just went, oh, wow! There's a really unpleasant taste in my mouth at the moment. It's like, just kind of like, Nutella, peanut, banana, ass. This looks cursed. This is called Dorina. Okay, Dorina. drag name. Available drag name, Dorina Rice. Dorina Rice chocolate by Crass. Dorina is the flagship chocolate product of Crass, one of the first right. chocolate manufacturers in the world, founded in 1911. Dorina Colombo is a richly flavoured chocolate bar with nut pieces embedded within the chocolate. I don't think it is nut though, it's rice, isn't it? I think we've got a different edition. Because okay, this little well, picture looks like it's got nuts on it, but that says rice on it. If you'd like to get a Try Treats box, it's even more exciting because the menu doesn't even match what's in it. This is really, really lightweight because it's like, do you see? It's very, it kind of looks like, I don't know. That might be triggering for people that have like that fear of holes. Tripper, tripophobia is Yeah, it? I can see how that could be a bit like creepy for people. I like the sort of, it's the way really they smooth on the top. segmented it though. Look at the sheen on it. Look at it. Yeah, I like that. Move your fat face. It's always in the way. <laughs> Are you just gonna, you're not gonna break off a piece, you're gonna bite it? Yeah. That's a, I'm not, that's a big piece. If we could share it. Well, you just bite some of it. That was a crunch there that I was not happy about. <laughs> it's, it's really hard. It looks like sugar puffs. I will say the chocolate's delicious. I don't understand why you've shoved a load of like... It's like when you open like a package and it's full of those like plastic... They call those peanuts, don't they? You know those things? Those white 
polystyrene lumps. It's really good. But what? Why just bother shoving a load of shit in there? I really like this. Like, yeah, but you wouldn't like like a big bar of chocolate that someone just shoved a sock in, would you? No, but it's not like the 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 rice like. Puff things are really good. Oh, well done, Dorina. Is it Dorina? I think that's my favorite one. Dorina. Well, I'm really sorry, but this is mine. <laughs> it has that really unpleasant sound and texture that you get with a rice cake. Which, first of all, no, check, stop everything. I like rice cakes. What? I like rice cakes. If that wasn't enough of a reason for me to leave you right here on the spot. They're nice. What is the point of a rice cake? What is the point of rainbow drops? They don't have any flavor. They're not good. It's just like chewing on straw. Oh, Jesus. You like the background? It looks great, doesn't it? My idea. Maria, you've got to see her. Mm -mm -mm. Why is that in my head? Because I sang Dorino to it. Dorina. What? I don't know what happened to that lady. It was a while ago and she was quite old, so there's a good chance she's dead. That's not come in. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, if you hear a cuckoo ka -choo, then bat. Bat, there's snacks in here that aren't for you. Very inappropriate. Oh yeah, no, there's all chocolate and shit over here. You can't come in. Bat. Fuck off. Get, you get out of here. So, thank you, Serbia. Uh, we are going now over to Croatia. Good evening, Croatia. I oh, know it's from the same same areas. What horror movie has something Serbian about it? <gasps> You're thinking of a Serbian film. It's called a Serbian film. What? Well, I've not watched that with you. No, you haven't. No, there's something something Serbian about something in a horror movie. There is a movie, a horror movie that's very very famous, infamous because it's it's so disgusting, and it's called a Serbian film. And it was like it. banned in, in, it's probably still banned in a bunch of places. I've not seen it. I feel like this box had a lot of sweet treats and not so many savoury treats. Um, looking at this, there is too savoury in the whole box. Yes. Whereas previously we've had a lot more... More of a mix. Yeah, and I quite like trying interesting new flavours, like um, things that might be spicy or fishy. There was or... some seaweedy shit, wasn't yeah. there before, which was great. Whereas this was all very like just chocolate, cho chocolate and hazelnut. But it's still super interesting. I do think that my favourite one was definitely the Dorina rice chocolate. And to think that that was made in 1911 is very interesting. Oh, that'll be out of date then. <laughs> yes, a lot of stuff. I think my favourite thing was um, either the Euro Creme biscuit or the Euro Creme slab or the Euro Creme finger. That slab I'm not about. Um, or the Euro Creme ball or the Euro Creme dome or the Euro Creme bucket. Or the Euro Crim hole, or the Euro Crim tunnel. Euro your crim. Let's turn that camera off. Stop that! You can't do that. <laughs> oh, if you'd like to receive a box from Try Treats, then we'll put the uh, the information for that in the description, in the description. below. Yeah, and um, that's where you can also find our social media if you so wish to follow us and mm -hmm. our adventures. Um, I did have a quick moment with them. Are you editing this one or am I? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Kind of hoping I get to because there's a lot of there was a lot of nice sort of softer camera moments. You do I, whatever you like. That I delivered when you were out of the room, uh, including talking about this gorgeous backdrop. My idea. Well, it's not your idea. Oh yeah. It was my idea. Oh I yeah. It out. Oh yeah. Of course it was. You you can pick out all you like. It doesn't mean it was your idea. It was my idea. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd like to. Well, I'd like to thank Nova for inventing the backdrop. But it wasn't it your it. idea. It was my idea. No, it wasn't. Proof of purchase. What do you Proof mean? of evidence. Purchase. Proof of evidence. In this court of law, you have to prove it. I don't. Oh, because I was inspired by Fifi O'Hara's backdrops on her Instagram story, in Instagram posts. And she, somebody once asked her where she gets her backdrops from, and she included the link. So Hannah in the Discord very nicely found the link for me because I couldn't find it. Oh, cuckoo pachu, Mrs. Robinson. And there'll be a message afterwards if you'd like to join the Patron! Ding! Oh, bye then! Bye! Join our Patreon, make your parents not proud!